Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator and I am here at a new fishery that I have not seen yet. The Echabalaya, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not sure exactly how it's called that, but it is. Here's the location, but basically here we also have, I think we have boats. But this is in the bayou of Louisiana. And the species that we have here are ones that we're a lot more familiar with. We've got largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, that type of thing. And yes, it looks like we have fishing boats. I'm not so sure we're going to take out a fishing boat just yet. We're going to see what in the world we can fish for while we're here. So, let me go ahead and take a good look with my hunter mate. Yep, looks like there's plenty of fish species out this direction. Hanging out. But we're going to do some bottom fishing because many of these species are definite bottom feeders. So let's go ahead and set up the rod pod. Let's go ahead and I've got this one already baited with large cut bait which is a good choice to start off with and we're going to go ahead and put that in the rod pod now we're going to go ahead and set up the other one and use it and I've got a earthworm on that that's a good choice too and we're going to throw him out there I think it's also got some cut bait on it as well. And then we're going to go over to the third one, which is a fly fishing. Now I might need to go into the fly fishing thing here just to see what kind of lures we have because we've got different kinds of species here we want to make sure it's one that we can use and I think I have a much bigger one on there right now let's see this is looks like it goes for a little bit of everything I've got the Panet Fly RK06 so that bluegill, crappie, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, sander eh. This will probably work for right here. This will probably work just fine. So let's go ahead and use this rod. And we're going to do a little bit of fly fishing while we're out here. See if anything's interested. Let's slow this down a little bit here. Do a camera view so that we can see if anything goes for it. But this water is a lot more murky than the water over there in St. Zeno's Lakes. Sounds like we are getting a bite on one of the other ones. So let's go ahead and pull this in. It will be this one right here. Okay, this is a decent sized fish, guys. Eh, maybe not too big. Let's see what the heck he's. What the heck he is. Because I haven't got a clue. Ooh, nice. It's a mirror carp. I like him. He's pretty decent. Go ahead and sell him. We'll toss this out again. We'll toss it out a little bit deeper. Go ahead and grab this set again. 
and we'll take our chances. With this, whoop, I hit an obstacle. Okay, we're getting a straight on it, so that's good. Yeah, we might have to test this out, try to find what they are actually looking for. Mm, I don't know, That's it's gone through there a few times. It doesn't seem like anything's all that enthralled with it. But we are getting another bite here. They are really after this one. Ooh. Oh boy, he is... Come on, fish. I don't know that it's another mirror carp, that's for sure, but it is something... It's fighting very differently. Let's take the tension up a little bit. He fought heavy and hard in the beginning. Ah, largemouth bass, and that's a good picture of one too. Alright, we'll sell him. So we got bait still. It looks like I'm out of worms. Still got cut bait, but let's just leave it the way it is for now. Now we are going to do this, but I think we're going to change our bait. Let's see, striped bass, spotted bass, smallmouth bass. I'm not sure about that one. Largemouth, crucian carp. I'm going to keep looking here. Striped bass, smallmouth bass. Let's go with this one because it covers a lot of varieties and it's white. It should stand out fairly well. So let's equip that one. Looks like I'm getting another bite. Let's just see if anything notices this while we have it out here. Yeah, it may be just that this is a little bit harder for them to see. So we might have to go to old fishing style here. Alright, let's go ahead. Which one is it? This one now. Come on. Yeah, it's too bad they don't have alligator gar. That would be fun. <laughs> yeah, this one isn't huge. I am kind of curious to see what it is. Ah, channel cat. Very nice. Alright guys, I think what we're going to go ahead and do here, we're going to take that, bring it in, and we're going to head off to a different portion of the lake. And now that we've got the ability to, well we can't, why don't we walk it, because I would kind of like to take a good look at it. I mean there's a faster way to get around, but this is cool. 
Can you come out here? It's like a little... I don't know, country club or something? <laughs> Oh, this is nice. Yeah, these people live here in these little houseboat thingies. Yeah, I assume you can fish here. Let's see. There's fish. Just not as much as it could be in some places. Let's see over here. Well, this is huge. Look at the mangrove trees. You can't go in the buildings. Not as many fish over here. There are some places. So let's go to the end here. Now we're getting into some interesting areas. All these trees are underwater. That provides cover for fish, but I don't see any fish. They're all out there in the center. Alright, let's go to the map here, guys, and see if we can't do a quick jump. I am right here. Let's see what's over at number one. Ooh, this is interesting. Looks like we've got one little houseboat. see any fish. That's not good. Alright, let's go to the next location. Looks like another dock. So you can take the boat and get over here this way too. Aha! Now we're talking about Fish. All right, well, let's go ahead and set up our thingy. Oh, I forgot to put the rod pod down. There we go. Wasn't sure if I could do it that way. Let's get this one set up. That one's got bait. And I think I'm going to set this up a little bit differently this time. Let's see here. Oh, no, I can't. I need to come up with another, another set, guys, I'm afraid. The only thing I've got is this. I've got to earn up enough money to buy me a casting rod. So, we're going to have to stick with fly fishing for now. And we'll see how well it does. I don't know. I have a clue. I mean, we'll use different types of lures. This one's a smaller one, but it's attractive to a number of species.
Yeah, that water is pretty darn murky. So, we'll go in here and try something else. May need a wet fly. And this will get rainbow water, pike perch. None of those are here. Shoot. This is a nymph. There's a few of them that it goes for. I don't think they're going for the dry ones, so we're going to try the nymphs and the wet ones. So everything here looks like it might work if I had one. That's another dry one. That's a nymph. Let's try this one. Maybe with that wiggly tail it'll spark something's interest. Yeah, see now we're actually under the water. I don't know if this sinks or not. Well, you can see the fish. Yeah, but it's not... No luring method, huh? Alright, we are getting a bite over here though. I had a feeling the bottom fish in here was going to be great. Whoa, okay, this is a big fish. Do you see how quickly that went up? Okay, we've almost got him in. Okay, he's coming in now. He is almost here. And it's a big fish. Whoa! Now that's a fish, guys. 22.55 pounds. We will sell him. You betcha. Alright guys, I'm back. I had to take a short leave here. I did make a, one change. I kept the bait the same on this particular feeder rod, but this one I've changed it up to corn and peas to see if I have a better chance of getting some grass carp. We've been getting the mirror carp, just not the grass carp. So, we'll see how that goes. Now, still trying to figure out this thing with the fly rod. Can't seem to find a bait that works. Or a lure. They didn't go after... Well, that one was not working very well. Let's see, this is a streamer. And this is a wet fly. So we'll try the streamer fly first. Oh, 
All right, looks like we've already got another bite over here. Didn't take very long. Off the peas, of course. These usually do pretty good. And this is a big fish. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do mostly bank fishing at this point. I'm going to keep playing around with the fly fishing to see if anything will bite off any of these lures and if not we're going to go to cast fishing but to do that I'm going to have to get enough cash to purchase some new rods and I've got two more slots for two more rods ooh another mirror carp alright good 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 there we go so the cut bait worms All those seem to work very well. Yep, I think we're going to have to just find some place that has some pike. We got this one. Sounds like the dog's decided that now he needs to go off. Yeah, we should be able to find some pretty big largemouth bass here. I mean, largemouth bass in the bayou, they get pretty big. I'm not sure what we got here. Oh, a striped bass. 13 pounds. That's a nice fish. All right, that's a little bit better. So there definitely is things that will go for those kind of lures. Maybe I just had it in the wrong area. All right, looks like we're getting another bite off of this one. Probably another carp. Ooh, he is... He's big. Take up the 50 cautiously. The only thing reason I think it's a carp is he's not fighting as hard as some others. <coughs> Whoa! Did you check that out? It's like one last ditch effort. We're going to have to take the tension way down. He is not wanting to come willingly. There we go. Yep, another mirror carp at 21.35 pounds. Very, very nice. And we're getting our money built up here, and we definitely need it. we got to get some more gear here. It was expensive to get the license here. Alright, let's try that fly fishing reel one more time. And then if we don't get anything here, we're going to move over to the other spot to the east. Check the hunter. Yeah, there's plenty of fish out there. Let's just see if any of these guys will go for it. We gotta start pulling it right away, otherwise it's not gonna work right.
I don't know if any of these will like this lure, but we're going to try it. There we go. Old striped bass. And he is a giving me a fight. There we go. Yeah, we just had to figure out where they were. Come on, little fella. I don't think he's that little. Come on. Whoa. Had to click that tension down real fast because he was about to snap the line. He is a... I think he's a big fella. He may be bigger than that last one I got off the feeder rod. Almost there, guys. There we go. Yep, he is bigger. 13.47 pounds. I'm pleased with that. Can I get a picture of him? He's a nice one. $94. Looks like I've advanced to level 12. Alright, we are going to go ahead and move again. We're going to move over to the east. Take our rod pod. Don't forget your rod pod. Alright, we're going to move over here to this final location. Oh, this is cool. And there's another boat. Yeah, in the next episode, we're going to take a boat out. I think that's going to be a lot more interesting because we're going to be able to go out in those trees and the mangroves. Well, let's see where the fish are located. It looks like they're right around here around the dock. That's, and I think these are ones that are going to go for the fly fishing rod, which is good. Alright, let's go ahead and place the rod pod down. Let's throw this one out. Let's see what we got on there bait-wise. Okay, that's good. Set that one out. Come on. There we go. We got bait on this. Yes, we do. Oh, something's wrong here. Oh. Let's put a little more bait on there. I think this time we'll put a, we'll also put a worm on there. I need to sell some of the, I mean, I'd sell them, but <clears throat> buy them. And equip another one. Oh boy, what the hell happened there? There we go. It was stuck. Alright, that one's ready to go. And then we're going to get the fly fishing set up here. Check the hunter vision here one more time. Your hook size doesn't match the fish in this area. Consider a smaller hook. Okay, that's good to know. So, take a look at the lures here. Flies. Yeah, I've got a pretty big one here. Let's try. What's this Sokina fly here? Does this go for... Yeah, it does. So, we got that one. Okay, let's try this one. Let's equip that one. Let's see if we can catch a bluegill or two. 
maybe a smaller bass. Well, I think anything seems too interesting. in it. And right now we got this one going nuts. The hell have we got? It is seriously fighting. It's not huge, but he was he was serious. He really wanted this. Oh, never take it to a hundred. Never take it to a hundred unless you got something pretty darn small. I think we might have another striped bass. Yes, we do. He's not nearly as big, but we got another one. Let's. I don't know if they want this kind of lure or not, but we're going to keep trying it. Not getting it out there very far. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this particular lure. I am not getting any action of, on it over here. Alright, let's try... Let's see, this one... None of the fish here. This one's supposed to work really well, and I've had a lot of luck with it other places. Just looks like they're not going for the dry lures over here. All right, I think we have spent quite a bit of time over here checking this out. The fishing is good. Fly fishing, eh. Yeah. The fly fishing, on the other hand, is eh, not so much. It's okay definitely have to spend more time at it so I'm gonna have to definitely come in back here and try some spin casting and yeah see we keep getting striped bass so anyway guys that is our first look at this particular fishery I'm not sure I can pronounce it again honestly it's got a strange name but let's let me check something here real quick before we go any further can we go up here? Yeah, it looks like we can. Not sure what's up here, but... Oh, this is cool. So you can get over here and get down to a dock way over here. One more stab at it. See if anything goes for this here. <coughs> Honestly, they may not be going for this particular lure since it nope, yes they are. We got one. Another striped bass. He looks good size too. He is giving me a fight. Come on, big Whoa. You don't want that to happen. Okay, he's coming. 
He is coming. Now see, there's a that's a grass carp right over there. I wanted to get one of those guys, but I haven't been able to find one. Almost there, guys. Holy crap. Uh, that's a big striped bass. He's at 18.63 pounds. Very nice fish. Definitely get a picture of him. Let me go ahead and get him sold off. Alright, so this is a good spot. A little hard to get to, but that's what it's all about. Sometimes you have to work to get to the hard places. But yeah, it's very good setup here, guys. Very good. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up as well. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And if I can remember, let me jump out of this because I swear for the life of me, I don't remember how to pronounce his name. <laughs> it's Acha, Acha, Achafalea, 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 Achafalea. Forget it. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is the Bayou Lake that is located here. After that, we've got a new one called the UVAC. Now, that's going to cost $1,000 to get a license there, but they're going to have a lot of species that we haven't seen yet. The Xander, the Barbel, the Hutchin, the Nace. And we've seen the brown trout and brook trout and trout, but these others, these are brand new only seen them on Russian Fishing 4. And then of course Panas Bay and that's where you're going to get into the sea species. Striped Marlin, wh White Marlin, Blue Marlin, Black Marlin, Rooster Fish, Rainbow Runner, Greater, Am <coughs> Rainbow Runner, Greater Amberjack, and the Mai Mai. $1,200 to get the license there. So we've got to get a little bit of money. We're only at a thousand 143 but we'll get there anyway guys as i said please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and always remember aim straight cast far and have fun i will see you later bye bye